Hi, and welcome back to the Save It For Parts channel. In a previous episode, I made a steam-powered RC Goose using an old toy steam engine and my Goose decoy, which is now mounted to the ceiling. It's uh, semi-retired at the moment until we get around to bringing it out to a bigger lake. But in the meantime, I have another steam-powered project that I'd like to work on. I came across this other little steam engine. I think I got this at a garage sale. I don't always remember where I get my stuff. I just sort of hoard things and pick things up. And this one is missing a piece here. It's, um, I'm not sure what that's technically called, but it's the little oscillating wheel that runs the flywheel here from the piston. So I'm going to see if I can fabricate that, and then I'm going to see if I can power a cell phone charger with this. Let's see what we've got in the steampunk drawer. I imagine it probably came with an even tinier funnel originally, which of course has been lost. The little fuel holder that goes in here has also been lost, so I'm going to try to make one out of just a piece of tin. Alright, well, so far this is going well. Uh... Well, I've made a steam cannon because my linkage broke. So. Okay, we're working a little better now, maybe. Taken the whistle out because it was just leaking. Got some various motors around. I've got this little hand crank flashlight. This little flywheel system has just no torque. Now about the only way I can get it to spin fast enough to run that little motor is powering it with a propane torch. So let's see if we can get any voltage out of it at all. Still not very happy about it, so we didn't even get a full volt out of this thing. So what if we do something less like an old style steam engine and more like a steam turbine? So how's this steam phone charger project coming along? Well it's actually been a little over two years since I started the project. I was looking back at my old videos and I started that steam phone charger November of 2020. Right now as I film this clip, it's December 2022, so that thing has gone into a pile, been forgotten, partly because the little piston steam engines just didn't have enough torque, didn't have enough speed to really produce any power. They weren't very effective, so I kind of gave up on that idea. Now, I was thinking of doing some kind of a steam turbine. I even went so far as to purchase this little sealed housing thing that I thought, well, hey, maybe I can make this into some kind of turbine. I can open it up, I can like machine or fabricate or maybe cast. This was back when I thought I could do aluminum casting before I found out I am terrible at aluminum casting. Anyway, I thought maybe I could cast some kind of turbine blades, put it in a little housing like this, have a little uh, port to inject high pressure steam into, spin it up, put a generator on there, we'll have a steam turbine. Well, yeah, that didn't work either. Then, I got some of these things at an auction. Um, I think it's either a sander or a grinder. Has some kind of turbine in there. Turns compressed air into rotary motion. I got an even smaller one. What if we put steam in there instead of compressed air, took the tool off, and put a generator on it? All right, well, the theory seems sound here. I made about a volt and a half with 50 PSI. Let's see what happens at 100. All right, well, 100 PSI gave us about 5 volts DC, which is enough to charge a phone. And I think there's enough torque here that I'm actually going to get some current. Now, I don't actually have any steam fittings, but I do have a whole bunch of compressed air fittings. Gauges, valves, regulators, all kinds of junk like that. I don't know how safe it is to use any of this with steam. I think it'll handle the pressure, but I have no idea about the heat. All right. 
right, so we're still not getting a ton of power out of this thing. Let's try 200 PSI with our little regulator turned all the way up. All right, I have to say this thing is not looking very efficient. In fact, my air compressor can barely keep up with the little guy, so it's basically making barely four to five volts with the air compressor running full tilt. So I don't think it's gonna be all that practical. I don't know if we're gonna be able to generate 200 PSI over a campfire or with a little baby steam boiler. I don't know if I want to generate 200 PSI with a little steam boiler in my campfire. That just sounds like a bad time if there's any kind of leak. Okay, so unfortunately the answer to the question of can I make a steam powered phone charger is no, not right now anyway. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm not saying it can't be done. I'm just saying I can't get it to work with the junk I have lying around and with the skills I have at the moment. I'm also not willing to go up to 200 PSI on a steam boiler. I just think that's going to blow up and injure everybody, so we're not going to do that. I think I'm going to wrap this video up here. I really, I hate ending videos without having some kind of success, and I really haven't had any success with this project, and I uh, really haven't uh, produced a final product here. That's kind of a rarity for my videos. Like I said, I like ending with something that works. When I don't end with something that works, uh, that video usually goes into the pile and just never emerges again. As I said earlier, this one's been sitting around on the hard drive since 2020. Maybe somebody out there has a better idea. Maybe there's some kind of uh, gimmick I can use or product I can find or something else I can convert into a steam generator that's relatively easy, relatively cheap, and isn't a giant high pressure thing waiting to cause an accident. If anybody out there has an idea, um, shoot it in the comments down below. I do apologize for wasting anyone's time if you sat through this entire video hoping to see how to make your own DIY steam generator. This isn't the video for it. Um, but you know what, maybe we'll come up with something else in the future and we'll definitely have some other projects coming up. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.